Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a nice cup of tea. <sighs> Slightly different order of beverage description, but it matters not. So once again on Prison Architect and doing another challenge. This time it's attempting what has been suggested many times in the comments. In fact, there's been several suggestions to do this as a series, but I think we can probably get it done in one video. And that's build an entire prison that functions and works fine, I wouldn't say well, but fine, um, but only using the quick build options and cloning. So there are several buildings that you can place, so cells and offices, etc. However, they're all quick builds, so you'll do the the walls, the foundations, the lighting, all of the designations, as well as the requirements, so like furniture or whatever. However, it doesn't do the flooring. So we have to build a prison using only that tool. Now obviously there's going to be a couple of caveats to that and I'll discuss those in detail once we've actually created the map. So create new prison. It's going to be pretty much everything on default. We'll turn fog of war off to aid in visibility. We'll keep generate forests on to hopefully get some cash. Failure conditions are on. Turn off criminal inmates. Turn off the prisoner transfer. We will turn on events and we'll turn on escape plans and I think that'll be about right and we'll click play and we get wow a really huge forest right in the center okay fair enough <laughs> let's go dismantle and I'll let them crack on so as I said there is the quick build option down the bottom here and you have things like a basic cell improved cell solitary cell offices and it even goes down to things like uh, visitation, padded cells, armory, mail room. Obviously, some of these are locked because we haven't unlocked them yet from the bureaucracy tree. However, we have to build the prison using only these tools. However, as I said, a couple of caveats. Firstly, I am allowed to place walls, like fences around the prison, because otherwise it just wouldn't work, and also place the flooring. So that would be in the buildings that we quick build as well as around the around the prison but we're not allowed to use foundations which means that any building or any zone rather and room that we don't have in the quick build option we're not able to make so for example reception that requires to be well indoors office desk table chairs etc but there is no as far as i can tell reception in here so that's going to be problematic but let's just see how we get on we are obviously allowed to use the clone tool as well as the planning so i'm just going to roughly measure the center which well, i'll say roughly i'm going to exactly measure the center as far as i can tell that should be there so it should be actually 39 to that edge so i'm just going to double check that so it is 39 to that edge yes it is and then 39 to that edge which it is so that is the middle of the facility so that be where we have our main entrance now obviously normally that under normal circumstances that would go straight to a well that would go straight well, they're not dismantled that hmm. that would go straight to a reception however we don't have that option because as far as i can tell it's uh it's not there let me just go to dismantle again oh yeah they are actually dismantling it but i'm guessing they're not oh not they were actually dismantling they're just all hiding under the tree anyway let's go over to rooms and i can use these rooms here but only if it obviously can't go if, if it can go outside that's fine we can use that but we're not able to build foundations so garbage i will place on the opposite side and just extend that a little bit to there and remove the old garbage deliveries similar thing we'll extend it there just to 12 and remove the old one and we might as well have some exports which can go down there which doesn't need to be as big but i will just have it as 12 size and there we are over to our reports and then to our intake we're going to turn off that intake we're also going to go to grants and get the basic detention center and the administration center the administration center from memory is two offices and a couple of hires so i'm going to remove this corner section here and firstly i will put in a quick build and then the offices so we do have offices Offices there I will place an office in there followed by one next to it around there we will require more which will extend to the left also while I'm here I'm going to place the utility room which will go just above that to there I think yeah that should be fine and then that means that this wall um, oh that's actually placed in the wrong place let me let me just cancel that can I cancel that why is it not cancelling? There we go. I think it was uh, cloning, right? Yes, that's that's fine. Just, just turn that off, please. Um, undo. Right. 
Cool. There we go. Done. Uh, back over to quick build then, and we want a utility room. We will rotate that around. That is allowed, and that's now placed in there. I'll do the similar thing for the office that I cancelled, which will go there. And then the planning will be walls across here, and then I don't know what else we'll put around there, but we'll just have to see. Anyway, that is all working. We'll get rid of the CEO's letter because we don't need that, and speed up to max speed. The gap here is because I want to place a bit of a path along to this entranceway, so that's why I've done that. We obviously are allowed to use utilities in place in electrical cable. That's just, you know, sort of self-explanatory, really sort of obvious, I would guess, hopefully. But, you know, for clarity's sake, we are able to place that. So that is now in. We will hire ourselves a warden, which will go there. While we're here, I'll also go for finance and I'll unlock the rest once we start researching that because it can cause some problems if we uh, haven't done it. You can see they are rushing in and the warden now has an office, which means they should start on finance. Yep, so that's okay. We're also going to unlock health, maintenance and security because it's 500 each. We might also go for psychology as well. So, that's all good as well. Sorted. Right, that is now working. Let's check our quick build here. And the... Where would it be? Staff room. There is a staff room, which I will place in... Probably about here. Should be fine. And like I said, the officers can just move along. So, we will place that in... I mean, do I want to place it further down? I'll place it there. Why not? And then we can have maybe like a little um, bit outside where they can stand if they do so desire. Let's uh, get an accountant in now and there we go that is us completed already one grant. So over to bureaucracy we're going to unlock with the finance person an extra grant and also the bank loan. We're going to go over to reports and get a long term investment on the go there. Obviously we also have our um, basic detention centre to do which is hopefully easy to do but we'll see about that one gonna remove a little bit of that wall there and also go back over to planning and I'm going to plan for all of the officers along here so just so we know how far they will go so we need one two three four more officers I think let me just double check so we currently have two but four more would give us uh, one two three and four. Yep, that should be fine. So that is our final sort of point where the wall will go up. Now obviously there might be other things that require to go outside. Namely, there's an armory that we'll have to place in this. This is like a staff area you could class that as. But there you are. Um, I'm going to run the... where would it be? It'll be in utilities, electrical cable. We're going to run electrical cable into there and just make sure that has power. And while we're on, we're going to go to walls and doors with the grass fence here and we're going to place in the fence all the way around the facility because this is our final sort of fenced off area so running along up to there and then that's a job done I also want to double skin this so I'll go to planning here and it's not going to be a large double skin obviously we will get some stuff being thrown in over the walls we just have to accept that that is the case and that'll come along I say it's just a distance of two from the edge there I might as well unpause it while they crack on with some building and there we go there's that also built as well so I guess I'll I guess I'll place that too we might as well go ahead and do that it's not going to cost much in fact you see the top row on there only cost I think it was a couple of hundred so the whole fence in total is probably only cost about a grand maybe a grand and a half at a at a, a big push I think it's two four six and a half seven yeah it's not even a grand I don't think so that's fine. Anyway, they're cracking on with that wall. Uh, we have got, I believe, another grant option now, so we'll go for the short-term investment this time. Actually, staff well-being initiative, I could, I could pick that up because we have a staff room. However, we don't have... We don't have the guards, so that would be pretty much pointless. We're going to go over to our walls and doors, and then doors. We'll have a large jail door in here, and then ones either side, followed by one in the front there. And this will have a metal detector. This one will have fencing, so I will place said fencing along to there and along to there. We will remove any planning, which oh, it's actually already been removed, so that is fine. So the, vis uh, the visitors and everybody else and the prisoners come in here, and then... Where do they go from there? Well, they do need a canteen and a kitchen, so we'll go to quick build, and we can see we have got the kitchen and we have got the canteen. Sadly, the size is limited. You can see it is a very, very small kitchen with only one door. 
So what I'll do is I'll place the kitchens along here and I'll place... Actually, no, what might be a better option is if I place perhaps a couple of kitchens along here and then in front of it the canteens, which are... Yeah, they're tiny. Let's go ahead and check out our planning here. Actually, I should probably check the size. I think it was 10, but I'm just going to double check. It is 10 or 8, okay? So let's work on maybe it was a size 10. So we can get one in there, one in there, and then a further one. Uh, oh, we can't get a further one in there. That's a shame. So let's go for, say, 8 then. So 8 to there, 8 to there, 8 to there, and we're also going to be, yeah, we're going to have that horrible space there. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. We can only fit in a couple of those unless we move this this down one, which we're not going to do. I don't think it is really necessary. Yes, we could put them side by side. In fact, we might be able to quick build over the top of them, but is that something I want to do? The answer is more certainly no, but I think putting them next to each other, I think that's also silly because then they can't get around. Although we could place more doors in, couldn't we? Hmm. Anyway, quick build and kitchen. We'll put a kitchen in there. And as I said, I could put one there and then one there. And that would work. But we do need, obviously, some more things in there. I didn't say that I wasn't allowed to place things in these rooms. But it is sort of against the idea of the using quick build. Um, I'm even tempted not to put flooring in here. So we'll just see how we get on. Anyway, that's going to be our kitchen. So we also need a canteen. So we will get said canteen in. Oh, no, that's rooms. Let's go to quick build and canteen. And obviously, it is a slightly different size. So I will simply place it in... That's weird when you rotate it. Oh, no, I thought it actually changed size there. Shall I place it that way? That is a distance of 12. How many would we get if we were to use that? So 12 to there... Gap of 1, 12 to there. Gap of 1, 12 to there. Gap of 1, we can't fit that in. Okay, so we wouldn't be able to do that. Another option is to put it back to back. So we'll have an entrance on that side, an entrance on that side. But that also doesn't really work for me. We could have it there. And then 12. And then 24. And no, it's still not going to work out. Okay. What is the other direction for that, for the canteen? It is, oh, it's actually 13, if I wanted to do it like that. So, I mean, I already know it's not going to fit, but, you know, for the sake of trying, yeah, it's not going to work out. Right, so I'll just put it the the shortest way. Mm, no, I think it's fine. We'll have the entrance in the bottom there, so they can walk across. Like that. And then there'll be another one there. Which, you can see it's offset. Which is really going to annoy people, including myself. But, uh, it is what it is. Right, that's now in. So, let's work on this other... No, the other stuff. So, we need holding cell, shower, yard, canteen. And at least two guards and two cooks. That is fine. This is where they come in. And then, obviously, they could work up to there. I do need to place in some utilities. So, electrical cable will go directly to that like so but i'm going to place a capacitor there to save myself a little bit of money the connections obviously will go i prefer along and then up just to connect those and it also means that we can build in here and then build down to there and then all these should be connected water pipe will be a similar proposition that will run straight up to about there and then we'll just use a small pipe actually we'll oh that's just that actually should be fine I'll run a large pipe up, actually, now that I think of it, because obviously we're going to be uh, building as we clone down and whatnot anyway. So that's fine. That is now in. Now, I guess we're going to place some more of these onto the left-hand side. I'm also wondering why that log hasn't been sold. I think that's just a bug in the game that the very last log doesn't get sold, so we will get rid of that. So the question is where we're going to put our cells. I'm very tempted to just put them right on the left-hand side across here. That would be a fairly decent proposition. We do need, however, a holding cell. So we'll check out the quick build and holding cell for that. And as you can see, it is a fair size. That's not too bad. I think I'll place the holding cell in here. And then that obviously will require us to connect that up to all of the amenities and utilities. Let's go ahead and run... This electrical cable probably... 
across for now and then down into there a large pipe will also be required which I think that should reach so let's see and we now need a hauling cell which we're getting done shower which we have not got done and we also need the yard firstly I'm going to go over to quick build and to the where would it be basic cells for now which would be a size of five by four and they're just going to be like worked up the top here so the distance that we're really concerned with is the four so let's just go ahead and do that and see how many we can fit in and then obviously we have a rough idea of where we can place just double checking that one where we can place our shower keep on making up to five and some of these do look no no they are the other right size and and we can't fit another one in there that's fine though so what size is the shower over to our quick build and then to shower the shower is oh the shower is a fair size what I'll do then I'll remove that there and the shower can go on that corner so quick build shower and that should be fine and the showers will go along that way the problem is obviously that they are nowhere near the water pipe but that is no big problem we can continue expanding with the electrical cable and then move things around so how are we doing for the rest of it we are on just under seven grand but we are making money every day so we've got that going for us we also have hang on has that not been designated as canteen i don't think that has been designated as canteen has it so even though it's placed the canteen it's not designated it so i guess no you can't beat prison architect using the quick build options because it doesn't designate it properly which means basically failure uh, if we were <laughs> really hard set on the rules uh, oh no it is a canteen Okay, did I just not see that, or was it just not built? Hmm. Uh, I think it was probably just not built. There you go. It's getting done. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's no no takesy backsies. I've already said it. Um, doesn't matter. Anyway, it's sorted now. So we've got the shower. We've got the holding cell. We have the area for our main cells along here and we need a yard so a yard is going to be a fairly easy one i think um what i'll probably do is go for let's have a look let's go for quick build i'm actually going to check out the visitation first oh that's annoying it's just slightly off so we can't place it there I was going to place it. Oh, I could place it along there, I guess. The yard is basically going to go in this corner. So, let's do that. So, rooms, yard, and 12 by 12 for now. We need a shower, which is currently getting built. We need a connection to all of the amenities, so I will probably run the water pipe up. But I'm going to, I'm going to actually build with quick build and basic cell i'm going to build one of these now because of where that is this is obviously a very risky proposition with that toilet being there but you know this is after all a challenge and it's just seeing what would happen really you know there's no huge drama if we uh have slight problems like that and oh it actually places the flooring in there so there's no ca there's no flooring in the kitchen or the canteens or anything like that but there is a one in the there is a one in here in the staff room accountant's office and one's office still no we have this to get built this to get built and then i can hire two guards and two cooks and that will be the basic detention center grant completed which will give us 10 grand enough to pretty much finish off whatever we need technically we could get people in here I wouldn't want to get any any prisoners in that would just be not good I'm actually going to increase our bank loan just to start increasing our credit rating as well I'm going to go over to while I'm waiting regime change this all to free time and then obviously we'll alter this as we see fit so free time down to there sleep to there so it'll be shower it'll be yard time two hours of eat 
One, two, three, four hours of work slash free time. One, two, three, four for that one. And then eat, eat, and probably sleep there. Bit of an early start, but it is what it is. That's about the basic regime that we work with. So it requires two guards, one, two, and two cooks, one, two. And there we go, that's now completed. I'm also going to go for one, two, three guards and go straight to Grant's and pick up the, where is it? Staff Wellbeing Initiative, which immediately completes itself. I will then get the cell block A. Cell block A shouldn't be too much, shouldn't be a huge problem. And I will run the large pipe up to about there and then connect in the small one. That's slightly annoying. See, that doesn't actually connect up, so connecting to there actually makes it go all the way around the outside. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Anyway, over to... Has that not been designated as cell? Or has it? I can't... I, can't, I honestly can't tell. It has. It just doesn't show until I open the menu by the look of it. Okay. Quick build, basic cells, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Rotate it around and have the same on the other side. But I'm going to quickly check the planning here. So if it was, for example, five. And then another five on the back, gap of two, and then five. That would be, that would be fine. That would be acceptable. If we were to put it a bit closer and do that, we would be able to fit in. No, we wouldn't be able to fit more in. Okay. So instead, we'll have five to there, gap of one, five to there, then five to there, and then you've got the walkways of two. So we'll have that facing left. That facing right, and then that one facing left. That's the that's the plan anyway. That's a rough plan. Quick build and basic detention. Uh, sorry, uh, basic cell. Basic cell. One, two, three, and four. Do I want to just build a full row? With the money I've got, yes, I do. I've got enough money to do this. So there we are. Tempted to get rid of one of these in the middle, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's not one in the middle, so if we knock one out, it would be a bit uneven. It matters not. It's going to be the one probably most in line with this. So it means that this one is for the chop. Uh, hang on, let me double check that. This one is up, and we'll remove that. That is sorted. Remove the planning there. We don't need it. And I do want to go to our bureaucracy and unlock groundskeeping, cleaning, prison labour, uh, prison policy, deployment, don't need surveillance, intelligence, patrols, and education. So that's a lot of money spent there, but it's spent in the right place. Back to quick build and to our offices. So if I can find the wood for trees, there we go. One, two three, four, might as well build those and then extend the power to the far end. That is now fine. We are running okay for that heat there. And if we wanted, as I said, I could probably get some prisoners in, but I'm going to wait until I've got probably this cell block A done. We've got the short-term investment completed. The long-term investment is still to finish. I'm going to unlock visitation rights, perhaps. Um... No, inmate health and well-being, which requires a medical ward, hire at least two doctors, and a psychologist. So where would the medical ward go? Probably around here. That would be, I think, a fairly okay place for it. So we'll have a quick check at medical, and that would actually fit in very very nicely there. And you can see there's actually an entrance on both sides for, for some peculiar reason, but it matters not. Actually, would it fit in there better? It sort of wood, but that was marked out really for visitation. So I'm going to place it in here. All right, there we go. And that would be basically that pretty much sorted. We will hire a psychologist. I will hire a foreman. I will hire a chief and a... Oh, hang on. Yes, that's fine. I was going to say a psychiatrist we don't want. 
We don't want a psychiatrist at uh, this stage. It also requires two doctors, but I'll wait for them to finish this. In fact, I will prioritise the building of this, as well as the building of all of the offices as well, just so they've got places to work. You can see they also need offices, so they're not actually getting these. They are unlocked, and we've ordered them, but they're not able to do it. Micromanager we're not going to get. I don't think we need that, although it's only a grand if we if we wanted to do that. As I said, I can place flooring, and I did say at the start that that was one of the things that we are allowing ourselves to place. However, um, do I want to just leave it and have it? This, this is purely a... Actually, no, that's a bit of a waste. What I could do is go to there and then straight along. And then that powers up all of these. Let's do that. That's a much better way of doing it. Oh, hang on. That went weird for a moment. Yeah. We could place flooring in. We did allow ourselves that option at the start, but... Mm, you know what? We'll try without. We'll try it without. Same thing for, like, the kitchen. We could realistically add in that kitchen... Couple more cookers, couple more of the fridges as well. Same as in the canteen, we can improve that by adding in things like, well, mainly, mainly telephones. We could probably put that in, um, but we're trying to do it with just the clone two at the moment. So it looks like there's an office over there. That's all right. We have ordered that, but for some reason it didn't put it there. That's probably my misclick. And there we are. So we've got 46 hours remaining for the long-term investment. We are on risk prisoner capacity to 15. We're on 33% of that. But when we look at the ones that we've placed, we've actually done it. We've actually overdone that, so that's all right. Build a medical ward is ongoing. That is getting there. And you can see that we are still building like these offices. So we now have foreman's office, psychologist's office. They're all going to work and do whatever is needed. I've prioritised this one, but they've not actually went and built it, which is curious. I don't know why they've done that. There's also nothing in the yard, I'm very well aware. But let's see. Let's see how we get on there. The ding -a -ling noise there looks like we've probably unlocked some more stuff, which is fine. We can only pick up the three grants. So that's the maximum you can pick up. Uh, our bank loan is 6.7. That's what our credit rating is. So the maximum loan is 90,000 generic units of currency. Of course, we can get more than that if we leave it. I think the maximum bank loan is... Well, actually, is it 200,000? 250? Can't be. Can't be. Either way, once you get to 10.0 on the bank loan option, you uh, should be all right. I've just realised as well that this medical... <laughs> this medical um, thing that I placed is actually called medical. Yes, yeah, it's just called medical. It's morgue on one side and infirmary on the other. Good, uh, I guess. So anyway, there is <laughs> there is that pretty much sorted. Did I hire an extra? Did I hire an extra one of those? No, I didn't. So we have our medical ward, and we've also finished the grant for the cell block A. So over to grants again. We're going to go for prison maintenance and visitation rights, probably. Um, yes, visitation rights, which requires several things. Actually, we can go for one gardener and two janitors, and there is another grant done, and we're going to go for cell block B this time, which says raise prisoner capacity to 50. So, yeah. Over to our electrical cable, and I can see that it doesn't place things in for some strange reason. Um, when you've got... When it's like... Uh, using the quick build stuff, it cancels the amenities underneath it. Which I think is the same for cloning as well. I think I've seen that before. Anyway, we do need to build visitation rights, so I'm going to do that. But I think I'll do that after I've set them things to staff only. So staff only on the outside. All of this obviously down the bottom is staff only. The thing at the front staff only. Kitchen is staff only. The rest of it is actually fine. I will assign guards to a patrol. I'll go for guard patrol and I'll set up sorry a blue I'll set up a magenta patrol probably probably to there and then down and then up to that one so that's 20 in total blue oh not magenta magenta is like the we're going to say is the outside one they'll come along there so we'll assign a guard to that and then the other one will be uh, dogs so we'll get that we'll also get 
armory, legal prep, surveillance. Just going to get it all unlocked. We, we might as well. Okay, so that is sorted. We need to build something for visitation. So over to, once again, quick build. And, oh, look at all the options here. We've got loads of stuff now. So we'll have a visitation in, I think it was this area I mentioned. Although, what other options do we have? We have mail room, which could potentially go in there. We have a library, which would go in there. A laundry, which is something I completely forgot about. And a common room. Oh, a common room would fit in there. A bit better, but that's more likely to be on this side of it. So I think we'll stick with the original plan, which was visitation. So I've just got to rotate it up to that, and then place in one, and then two. And I think that should do for the time being. We also want, as I said, some laundry, but I don't know where I'm going to put that. I could place it outside, but I'm tempted to have prisoners working in it. We also need some common room areas so I mean, we could place a common room where this yard is and move the yard up to this section around here because that's like limited in size I think that's what we'll do so I'll go to rooms and say yard get rid of that yard completely and then from here we'll extend the yard doesn't really matter how far we extend it because it's going to be increased and shrunk as and when needed uh, let's see, quick build, and common room. The question is, do I want to place one there, and then place one here? I sort of do. One there. See, it's 11, and then 11. Oh, that fits in perfectly well. Although, we could go for seven. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a gap. If we need more visitation, we're just going to have to place it elsewhere. And it's obviously slightly different size, but it matters not. And it's now in. Okay. That is getting sorted. We have not got a water pipe up to there, so I'll do that. And these have not got lights in. They haven't auto-lit them for some reason. I think that's a long-term investment just being sorted. So we'll go for security procedure certification, which I need 10 guards and 3 dogs. However, oh, question. Quick build. Is there a kennel? There's an armory. There is also an infirmary. Not just a... There's medical and there's that as well. Hmm. Um. Okay. So kennel is green. We can't have dogs. I think a kennel has to be indoors. Yes. Oh, no, it doesn't. No. Surrounded. Enclosed. Surrounded by walls and doors. It only has to be surrounded but not indoors. Okay, that gives me a pl that gives me options. Then I can place, say, that there. Go for walls and doors, fencing grass. Along there, along there, and up. Obviously, placing a jail door there, and then in that, we can have dog crates. Like that. And then I like to place dog balls in front of them, because why not? And that will allow us to get kennels, I think. There's the staff. And that should be about right. Deployment. Patrols. There's a... There's a dog. Um, this is going to be interesting, because I want a blue patrol to come... <laughs> down like that um, I think that should work assign dog handlers to there I also need to assign guards uh, there you go and I'll unassign them I will assign a guard in here I will assign a guard actually that's about right that is about right I think and did I cancel that section 
No, I ordered it. They just haven't haven't bothered. So they are finishing off the common room, which requires pool table, two TVs, at least five phone booths, which is problematic because the phone booths come in twos. So we actually have to build, if we wanted to stick directly to only having the... Yeah. If we want to stick directly to only having the quick build stuff, <laughs> I could... I'd, yeah, I'd have to... I'd have to build another two common rooms. I mean, I was going to build another one, but mm, yeah, it's getting a bit problematic on that front. Okay, I'm going to go to intake and to close everything off like that, and we'll say medium sec and fill capacity. See what happens. The water pipe is still being built. We have not. We don't have power in any of these buildings, so we'll run power into there, power into there and power into there. I'll also have, in terms of objects, metal detectors, which will go there. And that means, obviously, connecting that up with the utilities, which is now sorted. And that should be about right. Also, I'll probably place metal detectors in here, but we'll see. I think I will allow myself some leeway when it comes to placing objects. So, for example, I really do want to light up the rest of these I know that may seem like we're breaking the challenge, but there has to be, I think, a bit of flexibility. Say, for, say for example, in the, the canteens and stuff, I would really like to place some phone booths, which I am going to place. And we'll allow ourselves, I say, to place an extra couple of fridges and cookers on the other side, like that. And that should be about right. There we are. But we haven't built any foundations, which is obviously the main thing that we were focusing on. That says build two TVs. So that's getting that bit. But this one, I reckon if we place a large TV in here, that will get that one done as well. Excellent. Over to Grants. Hmm. Reform through education initiative. It's not going to happen, but there you are. And is there anything we need? Well, we haven't placed anything in the yard. Let's check the yard. Loads of options. Bleachers and such. So we'll place some bleachers. Maybe on that side. And Actually, no. I'll place them up the top. Like one there and one there. No. Maybe. Whatever. Maybe on the other side once i figured out exactly where things are. Don't want to place a tyre wall because people will just try to... Well, they just get better at escaping. Um, sprinkler. Place one in here. Place one there. And what else was I going to place? Weights bench, probably. That'll do for now. And here's our intake. There is our intake. Okay. Some names that are I've seen before. Chislet Trim, Ober can't pronounce her. Uh, Tothill Ingram, yeah, there they are, and they're being brought in. Good. We need to assign two arm guards for the grant. There is currently no reason to do that. I haven't got any flooring in, obviously, so they are going quite slow. But something that we can place if we so desired. I will go over to... I need solitary, don't I? I think I'm going to place solitary. So, probably... Quick... No, planning. Walls. Double check the sizing, which is 12 by 13. So, 12 by 13. 12 by 13. This should probably have come down by 1 to allow more room in here, but, you know, mistakes were made. Back over to rooms and to the yard. Extend that yard out to... Actually, no, maybe remove some of that yard and have the solitary along this side. That is a possibility. Just increase the distance of that just to get that uh, all sorted and connected up. That, uh, that sprinkler head. Quick build and you've got luxury cells which we haven't made. I don't plan on making them. 
It's nice that we've got them, though. Well, maybe we do, maybe we make a couple. I haven't yet decided. Solitary cell, though. I do want some solitary cells, which will go along here. And I'm deliberately placing them next to each other, like that. And that should be about right. I don't think, don't think any more than that is strictly needed. So we still have patrols around here, which is good. I'm going to turn off our intake. Like that. Didn't check out our people. We do have we do have people with some traits. Not too sure what those traits are. And I probably won't be able to find out because I can't build a security room. There's nothing stopping me making a phone tap and connecting it up, but yeah, there you are. So far then, I would say, is it possible to run... Build, to build a prison using only the clone tool. Obviously, the option, the, the answer is no, because you don't have walls. So if you were saying, only using clone tool and quick build, is it possible? No, I don't think it is. Obviously, if you allow yourselves the option and uh, luxury of placing walls, then yes, I so far say it is. And in fact, you can get something that is, I think, pretty okay. It looks all right. We can put some flooring in. Again, that's extending the, the bit of it, but... I think it was a, it's was a. it been a fun challenge. We're not done yet, but I'm saying it's been a fun challenge to try this. Oh, these walls are going to look horrible on the next to each other. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I think it's been a fun challenge to try this, but what is curious is that you can actually make something fairly quick, and it seems to work. Admittedly, you know, you have to know your way around the game, but one could say that about most challenges. Uh, there's someone who has just been fighting there. Interesting. They will almost certainly go to solitary, and we do have solitary now, which is alright. Yeah, look at them double walls. <laughs> right. Um, I'm just going to double check our grants, and yeah, the bank loan is maxed out, so I'm going to pay that back. So, we still have a credit rating of 10.0, but our maximum bank loan is now a quarter of a million. In terms of the uh Tears and body armor will unlock. Yeah, why not? And claws that. Or do I want to get tax? We'll get tax relief as well. Why not? Yeah, so overall, pretty happy with how far we've progressed. I'm going to not do a shakedown or anything like that. But I may think about grading the cells. Have I got grading on? Pretty sure we have. There's all our policies. And... Let's just double check our quick build. What else do we have in here? We have a shop, which we haven't built. Classroom, which we haven't built. Workshop, which we haven't built and probably not going to. You've got utility room, yes. An armory, yes, but we haven't built one. I mean, it would just go there. In fact, it fits in perfectly, so I'm going to build one. Laundry, no library and mailroom. So we do need a laundry. I think I'm going to place in a laundry sooner rather than later. Laundry can go there. That is a perfect place for it I think and a library and such will probably go I mean it fits in there as well quite nicely oh there's a drug overdose but someone has got them and are taking them to the I was going to say infirmary but this is the medical center where it's got the medical beds there and the morgue slabs just opposite which is very very disconcerting I should probably hire a couple more cooks there's four more cooks And this will be our this will be our laundry, which I will assign people to work there. Why not? So where is it? It is in logistics, prison labour. Ah, it's not actually built yet, technically. Technically, it ain't built. If I were to do basic cells here. Yeah, they would be going there like planned. Improved cells would be a similar proposition. And then luxury cells along that side. I could do that. I could do that. I think that's what we will do. Because why not? It's interesting. I also wanted to make outdoor... I want to have an outdoor lake somewhere. Because I thought it would look quite good. Could place it up here near the yard. But obviously it's going to cut a huge chunk out. Um, oh, maybe where the canteen would go. How many can these canteens hold? 
Uh, 32 in each one. Oh, so we don't need all these canteens. I'm going to place that there then. And we get a nice little lake. Good. Um, mail room then and other things. Where else could we place them? Laundry we've already got. Shop we haven't got. Oh, but shop again fits there quite nicely. And that's interesting. The shop itself... I've normally placed this this thing in the middle on the edge. That's that's the place where I assumed where it would go. That would be classed as the air quotes correct place. But apparently not. Apparently it can go there in the middle and be used. I'm just going to run in the, the water and power to the solitary cells. Because obviously they don't have it. Like that. It's now in. I do have this building here. So I can now get... I wanted to. Two armed guards. And we need to assign them to patrol, which I will. It will be deployment, patrols, magenta. And the patrols will be there. And there's the armed guards. Gate guardians, basically. We have max sec infrastructure, which you could pick up. And I'll let them crack on. That's looking nice, that. That's nice. It's also connected up to the power, which is fairly good. So what can I do to improve this? Well, off the bat, straight away, flooring. Have some flooring in it would make it look better. Also would make them go a lot quicker up to here. Um, is that the right size, that shower? Yes, for the moment, but we will need another one potentially up here for other things. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if we need more than one common room. I don't think we do. I'm going to also hire, and I should have probably done this a long time ago, hire some more workers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should also check programs out. Let's go for programs. We have workshop safety induction, which there's people interested. Pharmacological treatment to drug addiction, we will start that. And spiritual guidance they want to do, but if we've got a quick build, I don't think we have... No, we don't have a chapel. Chapel is in green, so quick build. We have no chapel. Okay, fair enough. I should also point out that this is the latest version of the build as of the time of recording. So we're not running the old 2015 or 18 builds. <laughs> yeah. There is our shop, which once that's built, I can assign people. I should also connect up... Um, utilities. Oh, water it just happens to be connected up. That's really nice to see. Uh, I'll just connect up the laundry machines and obviously assign people which is in logistics, prison labour. There we go. There's them assigned. Which they'll work on the work slash free time area. And I'm waiting for this to be completed. Once that's done we'll assign people there as well. Oh, we've brought we've we've blown the fuse. We have exceeded our power. So no matter. We'll spend some of that money that we have. Prioritize the building of that as well. And as soon as it's done, switch on. There we go. We're back to usual. So people are working here, which is good, laundry machine. I also noticed that they've got the old fashioned sort of ceramic tiles in there, which is one of my favourite. So that's good as well. Yeah, I think the canteens we have are, is fine. We probably need a couple more kitchens, but we'll see. There's certain things that we can get, like phone taps, that wouldn't really go in any particular area. Like, I would, if I was to put phone taps in, I'd most likely place a phone tap in the armory and then connect it up that way, but obviously it's we are limited in space. In terms of needs, there is a spirituality need that we won't be able to fulfil. Luxury literature, clothing. Clothing will be sorted. And the others will be alright too. And what on earth? Oh, that's how it's done. Oh, that's really clever. I like that. So, what we have is a sort of a shop that's split in two. That makes perfect sense. So you come in the center, you come in the doorway here, and you've got the shop counter, and then behind the wall, and obviously the shop counter, you've got the main sort of shop area where only people 
while working can access that. Not that it really matters, because if I assign four people to that, I have to have that open anyway, so yeah. Do I want to assign people over there? No, because none are able to do that. I am going to go for a shakedown, so all sectors. This is 112 places to search. And I think we'll crack on with more buildings. So a quick build, and then the improved cell, which the improved cell will go in here. And we could put them back to back if we wanted to, but I think we'll just put them like that. And that's as far as I really want to go with that one. And then a luxury cell will have a similar sort of thing, which will go up here. And that fits in quite nicely. There you are. And we have these, obviously, spaces where we can't really build much further, but it is what it is. I'm going to probably place. We do need a mail room, I think, and I would like a I would like a library, but that requires literature, and I don't think any of the prisoners are going to be trained in that. Don't think we need more visitation, although that does fill up very quickly. Don't know what else we. Oh, danger level is quite high now. Let's have a quick look at that. There's a huge hygiene need. Guessing most that will be fulfilled when they start using the shower. Yeah. Yeah, they will. But I think we need another shower. I think the other shower, then, we will put on the other side of this yard. Quick build. Shower. And it's going to go probably there. And in the yard, we're going to place a couple more items in here. We've got, like... A a tire stack, floodlights, bleaches. We've got some more bleaches. I'm just going to place another set of bleaches in. And uh, maybe a punch bag, dumbbell rack. That'll be about right. Tire stack. Yeah, why not? And there we are. So we've searched all that, which is pretty good. We can check out the last seven days. I actually will for 24 hours. Loads of mobile phones. As one might... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think that is in total. <coughs> Excuse me, apparently they make you sneeze as well. And we got two there, two there. Lots of stuff that's been thrown in. We expected this to happen. It's not any big surprise to us. So they're cracking on with that one. We will go to quick build and get things like a mail room which it's actually quite small so I can probably fit it in another place. I'm actually going to use clone for the first time in this uh, in this video and then a mail room I think yeah will fit in quite nicely there that's fine. Library will go down here we have got a mail room yes library yes visitation yes armory yes laundry yes infirmary no but we don't really need one common room sorted showers are in staff room we're done workshop we haven't got classroom we haven't got either classroom could go there that's fine shop we've got shower yeah we've said that and then the rest of it pretty much sorted we haven't got a shared cell that's the dormitory we haven't bothered with that so we've pretty much got what we needed here if we wanted a workshop, it is it is potentially, you know, something we can place. It would go here. I'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? And over to our quick build once again. Basic cells, which are just going to go on that side. And I think that is pretty much us, us maxed out there. Over to our intake, we're going to just uh, fill capacity. These will all need connecting up to the grid, but that's not a big problem. Got a couple of gaps around here which we can place. Um, probably. And can we place another improved cell there? We could place an improved cell there. Do I want to just do that? Yeah, let's just fill this up. And luxury cell will go there. And then there's a bit of a gap there for whatever we want. I don't think it's any I mean we could do a holding no. Shared cell. There's no need there's no reason to. Classroom, we've already got one. Showers are working on that. Staff room's fine. Common room, yes. Padded cells and such in psychiatrist's office we're not having. Armory, yes. Mail, library, laundry, infirmary. Yeah, it's pretty much there. You've also got river, which is <laughs> you could place a river just right in the centre there. 
Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. But there's our outdoor lake, you can see. That's in. It's pretty nice. Lighting on there, trees either side. Big stack of trees ready to go in. People are running around in the yard. Obviously, we haven't placed any flooring in. Something we haven't done. Lots of power to be connected up as well. There's some more workers and four more guards. Obviously, it's going to be negative cash flow for the moment until we get more people in. But it is what it is. Didn't check out any of our... I mean, we've got... We've got our grants pretty much sorted. We could have gone for the inmate nutritional research. Didn't end up bothering with that one. Prison labor sorted. Haven't assigned those. That one's sorted. And obviously there's a lot of places here that just require connecting up to the grid now. Which we can do that and do that. Similar thing is required up here. Hmm. Have I actually built that? I haven't. I'll wait until that's built. Oh no, I don't need to wait until that's built. I know that that will work. I'll also put in... Oh. It seems to be when one of these is designated, it it, it very um, quickly drops what you're doing and then starts it again. It's probably artificially selecting the tools <laughs> and the other stuff. To, so it's cancelling the order that you currently have in your hand. Hmm. Build a CCTV monitor and place CCTV cameras throughout your prison is options there for the max sec. Something I don't think we need to do. And if we were to place it, we would literally just dump it in here, set it up, and then get rid of it. I'm going to even put it in the power block as well. So, yeah, it it functions. It's I knew it was possible, but I wanted to know how probable it was to make a, a working facility. Well, this is medium with no gangs on, but it, it does have, you know, events and escape attempts and all that sort of thing. So there is a added challenge there. And we did say that we weren't able to build any foundations at all other than what comes from the quick build. We could technically say quick build that, get rid of all of the stuff inside it and remove the designation and then redesignate it. But I do think that would be classed as cheating. <laughs> that would be breaking certainly... Not the the original rules that we set, but certainly the spirit of what we went with. Obviously, I did place a couple more phone booths and some more stuff in the kitchen, but I haven't went with flooring. So, you know, this is the bare... This is almost the bare minimum you can do with the quick build and cloning sans walls. Um, deployment, staff only... Like that there. Staff only anywhere else? Don't think we need staff only in there. But we'll go for prison labour. There we are. We do have prison labour pretty much all right here. So that's good. Happy with that. Um, that water pipe doesn't reach all the way, does it not? No. So I'm going to have to run a large water pipe up to there. Oh, insufficient funds! Wow. Okay. We don't have the funds available. <laughs> we can't build it. We cannot build it. Wow. Okay. I mean, that sort of makes sense, I guess. Let's... Good grief. That's a very, very crowded yard. Let's increase our bank loan a couple of times. We might as well. And just get this finished off. So a large pipe will run up to here. We will have a small pipe running down to connect all of those up. That running up to that one as well. Oh, see what I mean? It, uh, yeah, it, it changes. I think it artificially selects the, the zoning tools when it zones, things like that. Uh, electrical cable will also need to be placed. So that is now in there. It's now in here. And I'm going to run it straight up to there as well. And technically in there to have all that powered up. This one will also require a bit of work as will that room and that room down there. So that should be all the power, all of the water, most of the designations, and overall, there we are. That seems to have functioned. I will obviously set up 
in our programs here some foundation education programs because why not as well as a hmm. workshop safety induction and we could set up kitchen safety and hygiene as well the problem that we have is that we haven't got metal detectors around here now I could easily fix this issue Whoa, bit of fighting over there. I could easily fix the metal detecting issue by placing some in the canteen. That would pretty much sort this right out. However, we've got some on there, and we should have to, we're probably going to have to place them there as well. That's now in, so I'll set up that. Where is it? For all hearing, we don't have, we can't have. I'm going to stop workshop safety and start it up again. And it was... Pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. Alcoholics group therapy will have a crap cracker. Yeah. All right. I think that is just about it. That's just about it. So, is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? Yes. Yeah, I think it is. I think you could happily make a prison with only using the quick build tools. Well, We've just done one, so it's obviously possible. Um, is it functional? I would say so. It does have some glaring holes in it. No reception, no parole, and you are limited in terms of the space, you know, because it's they're all set buildings. That's the whole point. But I think you can very much make a facility that will uh, function well. What can we do to improve this? If, if for argument's sake this is what we were presented with and then it was like okay you can you now have to improve it well aside from things like redoing the solitary areas and connecting those up and things like that flooring would be a must so putting in flooring around the outside to increase the speed of the prisoners uh, motion mobility putting it inside to make it look a bit better probably putting in some more patrols which we could do now if we want to but I don't think it's strictly necessary metal detectors in the canteens as well as in here in fact we could probably do that now really we've allowed ourselves that before haven't we metal detectors and we want to um how are we doing for power power's actually fine so three four five six and I'll have to oh that's already going to be connected up and so is that one that's fortuitous we could go for automatic door openers that is an option I'm going to go for a taser rollout and remote access and there you are that has been a bit of prison architect and I would say that is a success let me know what you think in terms of the design what you would change what you would improve what you think where you think we went wrong and what we've done right that would be nice to see what your thoughts and opinions on that one are if you have any suggestions for different challenges that we can attempt or even variations on one we've done previously then by all means let us know in the comments and we'll go from there as always hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings